Okay, so I wanted to make a video about this because a lot of people get wrapped up around this topic right here. And it's about serving our country. And a lot of times people kind of want to take away a little bit from the guys that serve our country but didn't go to combat. And I find it to be really, in a way, really disrespectful to some of the military guys that serve, but for whatever reason, didn't go into a combat environment, which is the majority of them, right? The majority of the military don't see combat, believe it or not. But here's the thing. When I saw combat and when I went on deployment, really, for the most part, practically all my deployments were because I happened to be at the right time, at the right place, in the right unit, right? So when I went to combat in 2003 during the invasion, I just happened to be part of a unit that I was going. You know, I was a new Marine. It's not like I decided to, right? So as the time went up and I went to places like Afghanistan, you know, for those deployments, I was kind of actively looking to be placed in a unit that was going to Afghanistan. And I kind of did that and it worked out that way. I wanted to do that because I wanted to go to Afghanistan. But the point here is that not every guy that goes on deployment is because he wanted to. In fact, some people were kind of like forced to it. Either you do it or you can't reenlist or you can't continue your career or probably you won't get promoted because you don't have that you know, that in your resume, right? But here's the thing. I want to put this out there because some people get wrapped up around this. The majority of guys that go on deployment is because they happen to be in that unit that is going on deployment. But let me go back to the point that I was trying to, to make, right? To say that some guys that didn't go to combat, you know, I guess that it didn't earn it or whatever, it, 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 it's kind of stupid because our military is ready to respond, right? Our military is ready to go out there and do the job. So, Marines go into the Marine Corps, they go through training, they do all everything that they have to do, and then they are just standing by to respond to the country. 911 respond force to the country. So guess what? Sometimes they spend four years and didn't get to respond. Sometimes they spend four years and they respond many times. But it doesn't take away from them that they are served their country honorably, and in the, in the best standard that they could, right? They definitely did, and they definitely were available to respond the call, right? I made this, I guess this analogy in a way. It's like being a firefighter, you in the firehouse waiting for a call, and you just don't, you know, go to a call and say you're not a firefighter. Of course you're a firefighter. And, of course, there's Lolo, that you are, eh, there's Lolo, that you are proud of serving, you know, our community. So, anyways... Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.